Hello and welcome back to Kim McDonald Studios where I am proud to say we're now into video number four in the Pigments for Painting series. Yay! Actually, this, it makes my day whenever I get one of these in the mail. It truly really does. Today's video highlight color is... Boom. Emerald green. Look how pretty that color is. And this color comes from Alexis Navard right here in my hometown. A really good friend of mine. There's a story behind this because when I first came up with the idea for Pigments for Paintings, um, she's the friend I called up and started talking through my ideas with and she jumped right on and loved the idea. And almost immediately when I set it up, she went and got this color. And I was having issues with the order system at the time. So she just went and bought it and had it sent to her. So she's had this in her car for weeks. And I've got my hands on it now. So the little mini that we're doing today is going to be for Lexi. And I'm so happy to make this painting for her. So I'm going to do like I always do. I'm going to go mix my resin and just show you a picture of all the colors that I'm using and where they're coming from. The first layer is going to be, you know, basically the clear t and uh, color tinted that I use in the, the same method as in the last video. It's going to be a two layered piece and start out basically coloring over the top of this prep surface and then once that's cured I'm going to be using the resin art pigments here. So if you truly are interested in what colors I am using here, here you go.
We're back and look at this colorful piece. <laughs> it's kind of blowing me away. It really, really, really is. Look at that piece right there. Naming this one Crazy Cabbage. 
I think. <laughs> Get this edge. Oh, that was so much fun. But we have to reveal the mini. Whoop. <gasps> Alexis, here's your mini. I hope you love it as much as I do. It is really more, way more colorful than I thought I would end up doing, but oh, I like it. There's some really neat parts in that. See that really glittery part? That is the pistachio mixed with a little bit of the FW inks, uh, that marine blue over the top of it. And it just went all crazy like that. Pistachio, yeah, it's crazy. There's a really pretty piece right there. So there you go series video number four in pigments for paintings and don't forget there's a lot of colors left if you want to get involved and get your own mini like that all you have to do is go to my website at kimmcdonaldstudios.com and it explains how this works it's basically a trade you send me a pigment I send you a painting and I have a lot of fun doing it too thank you for your support thank you for getting this far thank you for liking the video if you've done so and uh, if you haven't subscribed and you want to get notifications when my new videos come out, that's easy. Just subscribe and hit the bell next to it and you'll get a notification whenever I pop a new one on to YouTube.